So one of the things we're going to need to do is get a grouping of the companies by the first letter of the company name. And what I'm going to do here is let's go into our companies page here. And we've got our companies. And what I'm going to do is just see what this object looks like. Again, without writing a lot of code, just go in and say we're going to do some group data. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take our companies, we're going to reduce them. We're going to have an accumulator and a company, and I want to group them by the first letter of the first name of the company. So what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to say the letter equals the company name dot slice zero one, the first character. And I'm just going to ask the question, hey, look, if I don't have a value at the accumulator letter, I want to instantiate that, and I'll go over here and I'll say the accumulator letter equals an empty array. And once I have that, now I can end up pushing to the accumulator letter. I can push the company, and just to see if that works, make sure I also end up returning my accumulator. But without changing much, just logging this group data. All right, we know we're going to have to group this, so let's open this up. Let's take a look at it. And we can see, since this is asynchronous, we see that we end up getting this. We don't have every letter here, but we've got a lot of the letters in the alphabet. So that's going to be our starting point, because once we have this data, then what we could start doing is we could start generating what would be a subnav over here based on the letters.